guys, we're in my kitchen again. We're making cauliflower wings today. I'm really excited because I've always wanted to make them and try them. I tried them once and that was like last week. So I'm really excited. Um, I'm wearing the exact same thing I wore last time. So I'm gonna change. So my entire family is home for this one because As I said, I hope none of my family walks in on me. My mom walks in on me. But anyways, just measuring the flour. Should probably do this in the bowl. Just have it. <sighs> Whatever. Not sure if you can tell, but I was just not in the mood to do any of this because I just posted my Brussels sprout video technically that morning and when you edit a video for a long time everything you thought was funny or just the video in general just seems boring so I was just feeling really uninspired and so I forced myself to film this video because I had free time but don't worry I get over this mood and I feel inspired again cool And of course, my washer is being really loud. Just perfect. Okay, New Year's resolution, start being more positive. I literally wrote a narrative essay in English talking about how useless it is to be pessimistic. So I should probably follow my own epiphany that I had in the story. <laughs> This looks like way too much, but I'm following the recipe and trying to do what it says. And look at, guys, look, I have bowls. <laughs> Turns out they were just in my fridge holding beans or something. <laughs> I always thought these were teaspoons cause they're tiny, but turns out these are teaspoons. teaspoon of paprika. I don't even know what paprika tastes like. I think it just makes things bitter. I just remember it being in Blue's Clues, being the baby of salt and pepper. So it's to put cumin or cumin, I don't even know how to say it, but I don't want to look for it. We have a quarter teaspoon of pepper. That should be enough. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. I don't know. Time to mix. I have to grease this first though. Good enough for me. Getting the cauliflower and dipping it in here. Okay. Am I doing this right? It says to get rid of excess. I think that's fine. I hope this is greased enough. These low key look like drumsticks, like chicken. Oh, is that why they call them cauliflower wings? I thought it was because they were supposed to taste like it because they're seasoned the same way. So let's hope it doesn't burn. I doubled the batch recipe and ended up making all of this because my cauliflower was going bad. You can still eat cauliflower when it's like that, but it just means that it's going to go bad soon. So it says to let them cook for 20 minutes, but to flip them over after 10. So I put a timer for 10 minutes. Now I'm going to make the sauce because you have to cook it twice, first in just the batter and then in the other sauce. Yeah. On low heat, melt one tablespoon of butter. Oh. 
Jalapeno. I can't use this. Did I really just put this in front of the camera? <laughs> I bought this just for this video. I mean, my family has it occasionally, but mostly got it for this video. One cup of this. This better not be really spicy. I'm scared. That was cool. It says to just stir it in and only let it melt a bit. Oh my gosh, that smells really spicy. Okay, is it just me or are things going way better this time? Oh, but this was in front of the camera again. Okay, well anyways, I have to flip over the cauliflowers now. So along with making cauliflower wings, making some vegan ranch as well. As you can see, I've never used this vegan mayo before because honestly, I never even used mayo before going vegan, but my mom just randomly bought vegan mayo for me and we just had it lying around and I was like, well, might as well make some vegan ranch with it. One cup. What is this even made out of? Okay, so we're adding that. Okay guys, honestly, I don't know why so much of my stuff is like broken. <laughs> but I mean, we're not wasting, so that's good. We're expanding the life of everything we own. One fourth cup of buttermilk, so one fourth cup of milk. That is amazing, I just have enough. One teaspoon of lemon juice. I think you might, no, you let it sit and let it thicken. And we've got some garlic. Something I've noticed is if I want to cook, I have to prepare everything before because if I have to go back and grab stuff while I'm cooking, I just kind of get overwhelmed. But if I prepare it all beforehand, I'm like fine. And that's why I could cook in foods class, but I couldn't cook here because there, all the ingredients were laid out before us. We just had to measure everything. And we always had to keep stuff organized because we were getting marked for it. Whereas here, I'm just like in my hat. Oh gosh, it's so hot. This video is getting kind of long, so I'm just going to make a summary of what I said here. Basically, I was talking about how I hope that my videos bring you entertainment as well as inspiration. I know my videos don't really seem inspirational. I am not a cook. I never liked cooking, never enjoyed it. The most I cooked was oatmeal and nothing else, maybe three ingredient cookies, you know? So I'm totally out of my comfort zone here. Although this is still a pretty simple thing to make, it's definitely the most complex thing I've ever made by myself. So I hope that this serves as inspiration to you guys. If you have anything that you want to try, 
but you're like, oh, well, I'm bad at it or it's too hard, it'll be difficult in the beginning, but it should get easier with time. I actually kind of enjoy cooking now, which is something I never thought I'd say. I hope you guys do the thing you want to try because you won't regret it, probably. Are we supposed to keep this? I don't know. Pretty afraid of knives. So the fact that I'm doing this, pretty like, wow. Guys, I just realized I wasn't even recording the rest of this. I'm so mad. <laughs> but honestly, just look at the recipe. I don't even know if this is right, so it doesn't even matter anyways. These are amazing. I think everyone should make these, even if they eat meat. They're so good. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.